yeah, I mean, work with the pirates? No, it's not even a political party. It's more like a movement or something. And it was like, yeah, that was supposed to be like really, you know, horrible. Yeah, yeah. Just like a movement of people. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, thank you. No matter what happens, yeah. if we get to form a government or not, the chances uh, are here. Yeah. People that grab people's fears mm. and create uh, uh, xenophobia mm. uh, and uh, fascism, mm. uh, we actually created a vehicle for the, the very same people. Yeah. You know, uh, people that feel that the system is yeah. not working for yeah. them and nobody listens to them and so forth, a vehicle where they feel empowered, yeah. where they actually can have a voice uh, and create policies. Yeah. We need uh, a new way to approach democracy, very much in the spirit of uh, Buckminster Fuller, yeah. who back in 1940-something dreamt of a telephony voting, yeah. uh, <laughs> and uh, where people with technology could be yeah. more engaged and so forth. So I think, you know, the, th the really important factor to these new progressive movements has to be more direct democracy, yeah. more informed general public, uh, stronger media that can actually function on something else than clicks and fear of authorities. Um, and, um, and in a sense, we have captured that somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I, you know, I, I'm often asked, where, you know, who are you similar to? Yeah. And uh, I say, we, you know, we have drawn a lot of uh, inspiration and uh, experience out of uh, you know, the direct democracy part of Podemos and the uh, technological yeah. part, transparency yeah. part, yeah. and from the alternative yeah. party in Denmark and from some of the elements of the Five Star Movement. Yeah, exactly. We have to immediately create a proper progressive think tank yeah. uh, with the people that understand, uh, that are both thinkers, but also understand uh, both the uh, executive stuff and parliament. Yeah. Uh, and um, and we have to start to work, uh, you know, globally on the blueprint for the future. I love it. Let's do we, it. We will uh, pick it up. <laughs> well, you are good at uh, organizing much better than I, so <laughs> no, 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 I'm no, counting no, no, on you. No, 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 no. <laughs> How can we connect the good dots in the world right mm -hmm. now? Because there's an enormous need for for creating this platform where a meeting place or whatever, mm -hmm. saying whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I'm totally up for it. I think that. That, that's and it, it's so urgent. It is so uh, urgent, and we can't be wait. Yeah, we yeah, can't yeah. wait, and we can't have uh, the old pessimists in yeah. it. You also have to be able to, and this is able to trust in the wisdom of the masses, yeah, because yeah. the more people you get, and the more people you sort of test ideas with, uh, the more likely yeah. it is that we actually get to create a collect collective future. So, like I don't know if you've seen the newest Adam Curtis film. Yeah extremely depressing. I just really felt like killing myself after it uh, because it was so negative. And he basically saying there is no uh, future vision. And I totally disagree yeah. uh, because the future vision, vision is emerging. Yeah. You know, I always ask people at conferences and stuff, especially if I'm talking to young people, you know, can you see the world? You know, just start to visualize the world in five years, yeah. 10 years, 20 years. It's very hard, but we can. But we have to start to do it collectively yeah. because... This world needs to be done collectively. Yeah.